Stephen Harper says that whoever gets the most seats in Parliament wins. Stephen Harper is lying. Our Prime Minister would never lie to us. How dare you say such a thing? If he's not lying, that's very sad. How can it be sad if he's not lying? Because it means that Stephen Harper must have failed his high school social studies class where they explain the rules of parliamentary democracy. In the parliamentary system, voters don't elect parties or leaders, they elect members of parliament. Whoever has the confidence, meaning the most votes, of the majority of members of parliament forms the government. But coalitions are cheating. Stephen Harper said so. But Stephen Harper formed a coalition in 2004. He signed a coalition agreement in 2004 with Gilles Duceppe and Jack Layton. He says it was not a coalition agreement, it was just an agreement to bring down the government. Then he must not have read the agreement he signed which calls for the Governor General to explore other options before calling an election. The only option other than an election would have been to ask him to form the government with the support of the Socialists and the Separatists. Stephen Harper says that the Conservatives would never form the government if they don't have the most seats. That's because the Conservatives don't play well with others. Who's going to support him? He calls the Bloc Quebecois traitors and says the NDP is scary. When Ontario's Conservatives had the most seats the Liberals and the NDP worked together to form the government, because no one agrees with Conservatives about anything, except other Conservatives. But someone must like them if they keep winning. I'm sure someone must. But more than 60% of voters consistently vote against Harper and vote for the other guys, so a coalition government would actually represent more voters than a conservative government. Oh my, we should ask him about that. We can't. Why not? He only answers five questions a day. Maybe this could be one of the questions? No, it can't, because now that we've made fun of him online we won't be allowed into any of his rallies.